Hello everyone. So, uh, well, first off, welcome to my page. Thanks for stopping by. Give me a watch. Give me a give me a like and uh, subscribe if you uh, enjoy it. Because, well, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing half the time, but people seem to enjoy it. So, thanks for coming by. Anyway, so I have a Omtech 80 watt laser. Um, currently, I have a tub, a lid. And I don't know if you can see it, I got a little thermometer, and you can see it's 64. It's, uh, I think 40 degrees outside right now. Um, what I've currently been doing is actually I use an oil heater. And, and that thing will heat up, and with no heat on in this garage, it'll keep this tub pretty warm. The problem is, well, first, winter's coming. And second, if the power goes out, that thing shuts itself off. Now, it'll keep itself warm because it's oil, but I want another little backup. I want something better. So, what I got was a simple fish tank heater. This one's, uh, I don't know what that's made of. Stainless or titanium? No, it is titanium. And it's not a super um, high one. I'll put a uh, link to it in the description. But, uh... What it comes with is this, which is why I wanted it. So this will tell me, this has a probe on it, and will hook up to power and to the heater. But it'll tell me um, water temp and the set temp and where it's going. So I don't have to look over here at that tiny thing. Uh, you can't see it because of the glare. But that's going to be on the wall right by my fan control, which uh, if you haven't seen that video, that should be coming out, or if it is, take a look. I'll put a link. Thanks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be a little project. One of my problems is it's still a plastic tub, and I'm working on getting an acrylic one, which would be much better, but I'm worried about this sucker sitting on these, here, let me put them up here, on these little suction cups so I'm just gonna <laughs> see if it works I'm gonna take a light outlet cover and zip tie it to the things to get them up off the ground a little more you know look something like that it'll give me a way bigger fitting footing and get it up higher off the bottom of the tank because that's all I can think of for right now, but it should be fine. This thing shouldn't be on that much. It stays fairly warm in here, but, uh, yeah, so that's about it. I'll shoot a little video of it up and running and set up, but, uh, that's the story, and thanks for coming by. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Alrighty. So, just, I just zip-tied them in. I and mean, they shouldn't move around or anything. Just tighten them up, and they're... I mean, they're not going to fall off, and it's going to be sitting on the bottom just like that. So I got to get a screw up for this, and we'll get it together. All right, and there we go. So hung it on the wall, hooked up our heater wire, plugged in the uh, temperature probe wire, and plugged it into my main control outlet thing show you in here so it sits in the bottom it's not touching nothing and there's the oh, temperature probe the little guy is the other one that other one that first one I showed you I'm just gonna leave that in there to just kind of check both of them see what they're at but uh, yeah I'm gonna try this and we'll see how it goes quick easy thanks for stopping by guys have a good one